My name is Sarah Bloomfield. I am an advanced planner for Butler Funeral Homes and Cremation Tribute Center, and I uh, assist families with making their advance plans. Right inside, you'll see our main entrance here, of course, and our beautiful staircase. Um, you can come right in here. For many families, uh, this is where we receive most of our guests for visitations. As you can see, the room is very large, and so we can set this up in many, many different ways um, to accommodate families and, and their needs. I am incredibly proud to work for Butler Funeral Homes and Cremation Tribute Center. Uh, there's such a rich history that they have. They have been an active participant in our community since 1893. They take incredible care of their employees and, and take incredible care of the community. My experience at ALP, I'll be completely honest with you, it was exhausting. But I say that, I say that in the most positive way. Going through the acute loss period, I knew and I was so excited that we're meeting emotional needs, we're meeting relational needs, we're meeting the spiritual needs. I feel that this has been able to help me connect with families now in a, on a much deeper level because I'm not just offering them a service. I'm not, I'm no longer an order taker. Now I know exactly what they need and it's up to the two of us to decide how we're going to get there. The biggest effect that I've seen with families that have shared it is that it takes them back to a time that they've experienced a loss. And they have had aha moments right in front of me. I have seen family members shed tears and I have shed tears along with them as they're sitting next to their husband or their sister and said, that's exactly, that's exactly how I felt. And we didn't have that opportunity to see mom or to see dad. And uh, by sharing the acute loss period, it, it really just takes it to a completely different level. The acute loss period um, took me back to the two most significant losses in my life. Uh, one being my grandfather, and then the other being I lost uh, my best friend when I was 19 years old. As we went through the process of the acute loss period, I found myself at training. I, I became very emotional, to be quite honest with you. And so I found myself going back to those moments of um, not being able to meet all those needs when I lost my best friend. I was not able to see him after he had passed away. And still to this day, now 14 years later, I still think that I'm going to turn a corner, um, a street corner and, and see him because I didn't have, I wasn't able to properly begin healing. I thought that going to training would help me better in my career. I didn't realize that it would really push me over the edge in my personal life and, and really resonate with me. In my free time, I uh, truly enjoy being active. Um, although my job is incredibly gratifying, it, it comes with a little bit of stress. And the way that I get rid of that energy is that I like to run. I grew up in uh, New Berlin, Illinois, and it is a farm town. Uh, my father is a third generation farmer, and so I grew up on a farm. Um, I knew growing up that I always wanted to do something to help other people. What truly flipped the switch on for me was I lost my grandfather in 2003. My family included me on the arrangement conference when we went to the funeral home. It was never something that my grandfather discussed with, with his two children. I thought as I, as I got a little older, why was this a conversation that had never happened? Why was my grandfather's funeral never discussed? So fast forward, went on to college, uh, received a business degree. When I had the opportunity to become an advanced planner, it was a leap of faith, but it was the best decision I've ever made. I truly, every single day, I look forward to going to work and to uh, meeting and assisting families through what will be the most difficult time of their lives. My fiance and I are actually getting married uh, May 10th in Hawaii. Uh, my fiance is a police officer and I am incredibly proud of him. What's so wonderful about our relationship is that he is so supportive and so proud of me and everything that I do. We have a six-year-old daughter and her name is Rowan. She's our entire world and is very active and keeps us very, very busy. Uh, we love to travel. Uh, we travel quite often. We run, we work out, uh, we play a few different sports. We play a lot of board games and invite family and friends over and we really like to entertain. I love my job so much and it is no secret to anyone. It makes me feel absolutely incredible to help people. It is so gratifying to uh, have a hug at the end of an appointment. I will never in my life, no matter where life takes me, will ever forget these families that I've met with and I've assisted. 